Welcome and it is always a pleasure to have you on this channel. So last time we looked at how you can create a simple payroll and also create a tax range or tax calculator to have it in your payroll. So today we are going to build up on that payroll and create a pay slip out of it. So if you haven't watched the payroll or how to create a payroll, then you can just click up here and you'll see a link to how you can prepare uh, the payroll that we're going to use today. So as you can see, what you have on the screen is the payroll, is what we had prepared last time and the tax rates that we had created last time. So we're going to create one more sheet and call this pay slip. And we're going to see how we we can link our pay slip with our payroll so that we can get the information that we require for the pay slip. So we can just look at the name of the company again and we have XYZ Limited and we are going to create our monthly pay slip. And then we are going to have two categories where we have the earnings and the deduction. So we can have earnings. So we are going to have uh, the employee number. And then we can have the department or the department which the, the employee works in. Then we can further have the name of the employee. And then we can have the month and the year of the pay slip. So you can make these columns a little bigger to accommodate the information that we require. So as I had mentioned, we are going to have two columns. We'll have the earnings and we'll have deductions. So we have the earnings for the employee and on the other hand, we'll have the deductions. So what you're going to do, we'll take the heads on the payroll and these are the ones that we are going to use on our pay slip. So if you go to the payroll, you'll see we have employment number or the earnings and you have the deductions. We can take the earnings and paste them, paste as values and transpose. So we can just rename this to have full names instead of abbreviations. We have a house allowance. We have the travel allowance. Then we have responsibility allowance. Then you have risk allowance. Then on the other side, then you have the expenses or the deductions. And then transpose and you have this information and then we have the circle loan then we have the total earnings for the employee and we have the total deductions then we have the net pay and the net salary. Then we can have the employee signature. And equally have the human resource officer signature. So now we have 
a format for our pay slip and now we just what we just need to do is just do a bit of fine tuning on our formatting before we do our linking to the payroll so we have the xyz limited and we can merge and center we have monthly pay slip and we can merge and center we can make them a little bit bigger and then we can just bold them then uh, we can do a bit of formatting on this again and on the deductions and earnings and the net salary And do a little bit more formatting in the background color on this we can bold these headings then we can try we can put an outside border so that we can have a pay slip boundary. So this will be very important when you're printing. You can remove the grid lines so that the pay slips looks this way without the lines. And again, now we can have the places for the employee and the human resource to sign. So going back to the payroll, now this is the information that we are going to put in the pay slip so that we link all these headings to the pay slip so that once we have our control, which will be the employment number, then we'll have all the other information on the pay slip changing. So we will be selecting the employee number and we'll have the name, uh, the department and all these other earnings and deductions for the employee populating in our pay slip. And then we'll finally have our total earnings and our total deductions. So what you're going to do is that we are going to link um, the pay, the, the, the employee number to the payroll using a formula and this will be through creating a range that will pull the data from the payroll. So this is the information that we will require. So we have the first column, uh, which is the employment number, and it will be the one to be selected in order to fill all the other information of the employee selected. So what you're going to do is that we are going to create the range that we're going to pull the data from and we can call this payroll data then you can click ok then we are going to create a list from which the employee number will be calling from and so we have the column a which will be the list and again we create a range we go define a range and we can call this employment number list good now we can go back to the pay slip and we can click on cell d7 where we are going to have our list being populated for employment number so you go to data then click on data validation then you select on list and then the source will be the employment number list range that you have just created then click on ok then you can see a drop down list has been created and you have the list of employee employment number as per the payroll so anytime that we select on any of them then the data will be changing 
based on the employment number that has been selected. And you see all the data in our deductions and all the information in here changing. So we will create a formula that is going to call the information from the payroll data list that you have created uh, from the payroll. And as you can see, these are the headings that we will have. So based on the column A, then it will call all these other columns uh, using the formula. Remember, when you're using this formula, you have to know the column numbers when you're using the formula that we are going to use in a moment. So this, we are going to start with the employ employee name. And so once you go back to the payslip, now we are going to use the VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP formula looks for a certain number in a range and gives the result. So we have our VLOOKUP. We want to look at information on cell D7. And then we are looking for the data in the payroll data and then we are looking at column two and we want the exact match so select that and click ok so you can see on the on the screen there is an error and this is because cell d7 contain nothing but once you select an employee you can see now the employee name is populated when you select another one and different employee name is selected and you can see that's how this works. So we are going to do the same thing to all the other cells. That is the department, all the basic salary and moving forward. So we can just copy this. Now this becomes easy. The only thing that we'll be doing is adjusting the column that we'll be calling from uh, the payslip. So customer service you can see the department now then um, you can go to the next one uh, which is our basic salary and you can see basic salaries in column four and they follow each other that way four five six seven eight all the way so we can go to basic salary again once you paste that formula you just change two to four and you go to the next one five six moving forward up to the last one. So we have um, all that, the responsibility allowance. We have now the risk allowance. We have the total earnings. is cell 9 then you have the pay then you have NSSF which is column number 11 then you have NHAF Then you have the circle on. Then you have help. And finally, on the deductions, we have total deductions. And then we get our net salary. So remember the net salary is the total earnings minus the total deductions. So now we are going to have the month and the year. Remember this one must call from the payroll so that we know which month and year we are talking about. So we are going to use a formula and what it will do is that it will get the month from the payroll and the year from the payroll and combine that to give us 
the month and the date. So we have the formula which is equals to the month and space. So space for this formula will be the speech marks. Then you click on space, but space in your keyboard, then speech marks, then and sign, and then you have the year. So if you look at the formula, so the space between the speech marks is actually the space between the two words. That is August and 2020. So you can see now we have August uh, 2020. And you can have this one. Then you have, I can format this one. Can again format the deductions. And finally, you can format the net salary. Now you can see on your screen, you have now linked all the cells. And remember, it will be controlled from the employee number. You can see after changing, the information changes. When you have different net salaries and the name, the department changes. If you select number five, you see now we have James. We have works in sales, has a net salary, different net salary. If you select uh, number four again, you see it changes. And now you have different data for each employee that you select. And you can print this for the employee by just setting. You go to page layout, then you go to print area. Then you can uh, go to view, just adjust to fit in one page and go back to normal. And once you preview this, then you'll see your payroll or your pay slip is now ready for printing. So that's how you create a pay slip for use from payroll and you link the information for all your employees. So thank you again for watching and remember we'll be having more tutorials uh, as we move on and remember to subscribe and like and comment for more videos and if just in case you want more advanced payroll preparation and pay slip you can always contact me on the email on your screen thank you again and see you on the next tutorial